so let's begin up with the fourth session in this session we will try to look into one more type of transformation uh, previously we saw the source qualifier transformation and expression transformation uh, it was very simple now we will see one more useful transformation which is called as router transformation okay so before we uh, go to the transformation uh, creation uh, let's just create one more table uh, so that we can use that table in our router transformation okay i'm copying this script uh, for and name for target one okay so this is our new table the name of commit main underscore target one okay so this is created now we have more. so this would be empty at as this okay so meanwhile we can what we can do is uh, that okay so here we saw that uh, the third the new table has empty previously three tables have the records uh, which we inserted from our previous workflow execution so let's just uh, go to the target and uh, import this new target as well so give the password whatever it is okay, so i think it's caps lock is on okay so it's connected new and it's for target one for example if there are number of tables then you can write the table name here in this box so it will display and the table names match to that specific criteria okay so here we have got the new table but uh, in previous uh, target we added three columns as well so that we can use the expression transformation but we won't increase this because our main purpose in this uh, session would be to learn about the router transfer so i am removing this links okay uh, now just move it a little forward okay now i am bringing the router transformation here okay so what will be the router transformation doing let's just drop all our columns and then we can see that what it okay so here is input tab right okay so router transformation we can basically take the decision for example if we have number of sources and if we want our few records to be mo uh, to be moved in one table and few records in other table then we can make this decision in router transformation right so what we will do is here it would be that uh, we will taking any specific criteria from our source okay so here this uh, this can be criteria for example if participation percent is one then we can move into the first target and then rest in the second target or whatever if it is revolving is zero or one something like this or any anything could be a criteria or if maintenance type so what we will do is that if participation person is one then we move to commitment underscore target one otherwise we move to commitment underscore target so when we come here in router transformation we can see all the ports right all ports are input and now we saw that we can create a group right so this is the new group we will define the condition here and this is the default group so what we will do is we will write is that participation percent as one there is one and two okay so we give the criteria here uh, like 
participation percent is equal to 1 Expression pass, okay. Apply now. One more criteria we will be giving move up the prop, and we will say is PP not fun. Okay, so, this, yeah. Yeah, so let's apply. So now you will be able to see that there is these are the input port. Now we have output port. This is for the first group, and this is for the second group. So let's move the this thing little now so that it's come aligned to our PP not one, right? So all these ports are mapped here one to one. Now we will drag and drop our the other new target. Okay, we won't use any expression transformation. We will just directly connect it one to one so that we can test our transformation. Okay, so here it's in the working condition. We need to change okay, some of the workflow settings as well for this. Let's save and we will know that this is a valid transformation. Now we will refresh our mapping in workflow transformation in workflow designer and let's just refresh it. Okay, so there was a change which now came in that uh, comment window so target one was added. So now we see, okay, so here we see that commitment target we define the connection tutorial and all the settings. Now, same thing we need to do with the uh, commitment target as we have only one connection, so by default it took connection disco tutorial, but the rest of the things we need to set. So we will do the same. Okay. So we as well, it will be pass and tutorial, and PS will will be delete from dot commit. Let's put target one. And let's ap apply. So this is the and this is the router transformation. Okay, nothing uh, we need to give in the router transformation. That's okay. If the yellow symbol, it would validate this session object again. Validate the workflow. And if there is an issue, then uh, there is a red exclamation mark pointing here at the same place. So let's just execute this transformation. What uh, would we expecting is that target one should have one row and two rows should be in commitment risk for target as of now we can see that three rows are in the source three in one of the destination and empty is second destination let's see start work to from task uh, we can see the progress here at workflow monitor okay it succeeded Right, we will see the session log later on. Let's see the database results. Okay, so here we see that three rows in the source. In this destination, there should be two rows with the participation percent non one two rows participation person non one but this has three additional field 
in this destination which for which we use the expression transformation this has one right so only one row this table with all the details right for pulse 31 pulse 31 one 131 these are 228 228 and 331 228 okay let's see the session log as well so that we can have an idea that what addition commands it, it performed so here we can see that uh, uh, two pre-execution SQL uh, one delete for target one one delete for target insert two insert statements one select statement and then it was distributed into two tables right in the first one commitment is for target one applied one apply effective one requested one and for commitment target requested to apply to affected to so these are the summary target and so this comes up with this session uh, in this session we looked up the one more useful much useful transformation router transformation uh, for various scenarios and uh, we also uh, see that what ablation did we need to do in workflow for this uh, relevant change and we saw that the results also so this uh, ends up this session uh, in the next session we will try to look into repository manager how to import a workflow, some folder creation and other activities. Thank you.